the first check that I got, you know, <laughs> before I had a record deal, you know, I happened to be writing for different people, and it, you know, actually is what made me more curious and understanding and learning about the whole publishing game, to be quite honest. Um, my Being my rep back in 93, 94, kind of taught me you know, even more so than my attorney at the time, how to even understand the whole publishing game. And, and as an artist who is a writer, you know, those things make a lot of sense for me, kind of. So thanks, BMI. Thankfully that I am a writer, because even though the records that I've done in the past that are classics, you know, you get to still make income off of them. But I think, you know, times change. And if, if you can kind of be, it can be disappointing to some people, but for me, you know, the fact that R&B, traditional R&B music is really what I represent, um, it's not the most popular genre right now, but on the flip side, you know, look at Frankie Beverly, like, ain't had an album out and I can't tell y'all long, but they can gig every day of the year and make a living. If that's what you, you know, if that's what you want to do, you can do it. So you just kind of got to ride the wave and make it work for you, you know? Mm -hmm.